samosas. They're truly one of the tastiest foods out there. Filled with your choice of spicy minced meat or poultry, various veggies, and a mix of earthy aromatic seasonings, samosas are guaranteed to make your mouth water. In this video, I'll show you how you can enjoy samosas on a low-carb diet. I'll talk about the carb and calorie content of samosas and whether or not they're keto friendly. Stay tuned to find out how to make samosas low carb, what low carb fillings to stuff them with, and the best type of low carb flour to use in the crust. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lisa with lowcarbhack.com. Today, let's talk about samosas and the healthiest ways to prepare them to help you on your journey to a healthier lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that alert notification. That way you'll get notified whenever we publish valuable content on our channel. For those of you who don't know what a samosa is, it's a triangular shaped pocket of pastry stuffed with a filling of spiced vegetables along with meat or poultry and then it's fried in oil. The samosa is normally made with white flour and typically contains mashed potato, onions, green peas, lentils, and a mixture of spices. The entire pastry is then deep fried in oil, normally vegetable oil, until golden brown. How many calories are in a samosa? Although it depends on what you add to the filling, a typical 100 gram deep fried samosa containing potatoes and peas is 380 calories, along with 17 grams of fat. If you're on a low fat diet, you may wish to bake your samosas instead. How many carbs are in samosas? There are 32 grams of carbs in a 100 gram samosa. Samosas are fairly high in carbs because of the potato, peas, and lentils contained in the filling, and of course the white all-purpose flour used to make the dough. If you're on a low-carb diet, use a low-carb flour instead like almond flour, which will significantly reduce the carb count. You may be wondering, are samosas keto-friendly? Unfortunately, traditional samosas, like the kind you buy in supermarkets or order at your favorite Indian restaurants, are high in carbs because of the dough wrapper and also the potato, the pea, and lentil filling. But that doesn't mean samosas have to be totally off limits if you're following a keto diet. You can enjoy one from time to time and spice up your meal plan with a small samosa occasionally as long as you factor it into your daily carb count. And choose from the ones that have lower carb fillings like meat, chicken, and spinach. A better way to enjoy samosas on a low carb diet is to make your own homemade keto friendly variation of the traditional samosa with just a few tweaks and simple substitutions. Keep listening because later in this video, I'll tell you exactly how you can do this. The origin of the samosa is an interesting one. Samosas originated all the way back in medieval times, in the Middle East prior to the 10th century, where it was known then as the Sambosa. It was introduced to the Indian subcontinent around the 13th or 14th century by traders from Central Asia. The Indian-style samosa is the most widely known of a broad range of recipes popular in continents from Africa to Asia. Samosas are a popular entree, appetizer, or snack in the local cuisines of the Indian subcontinent, Western and Southeast Asia, the Mediterranean, and many parts of Africa. If you're a lover of samosas like I am, you can enjoy a small one occasionally while on the keto diet, as long as doing so will not take you above your daily carb intake. For example, you may wish to have a small samosa for lunch, but follow it by a lower carb dinner in the evening to balance it out. Or another way is to make low carb substitutions to your favorite samosa recipe so that you can eat them more often. The best way to lower the carbs in a samosa recipe is to use almond flour for the dough as it is substantially lower in carbs than white flour. You should also choose low carb fillings like meat, chicken, and spinach instead of high carb fillings like potatoes, peas, or lentils. If you like the texture of potato or pea filling, try instead using low carb mashed turnip. Once it's spiced up, you'll barely recognize the difference. 
I've come up with some great low carb filling ideas for samosas that I'd love to share with you. Since a medium sized potato samosa contains roughly 25 to 30 grams of carbs and will likely spike your blood sugar levels more than eating bread, try filling your samosas, like I mentioned before, with chicken and spinach instead, as this filling is lower in carbs. And you may also want to try spicy minced beef and onions, another great low-carb filling choice. See this recipe over at lowcarbhack.com. Other great keto-friendly fillings include any type of meat, cauliflower, and your favorite blend of aromatic spices. But cauliflower isn't the only low-carb alternative to potatoes. Turnips can also make you feel full without the abundance of starch, as they are not part of the same root family as potatoes. Turnips are a cruciferous vegetable in the same family as broccoli, kale, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Who knew? Using mashed turnip in your samosas instead of potatoes makes them instantly low-carb and keto-friendly. In a 100-gram serving, there are only 4 grams of net carbs and only 128 total calories. Additionally, turnips provide an excellent source of antioxidants and fiber, vitamin C, iron, calcium, and vitamin K. Turnips make a great doppelganger for potatoes as they're light and fluffy, have a mild taste, and replicate the texture of a potato. If you simply must use potatoes, you may wish to try incorporating a small amount of mashed purple potatoes into your samosa filling. These are less starchy than white or yellow potatoes. A half cup of diced raw purple potatoes contains about 52 calories and only 12 grams of carbs. The purple potato is an excellent spud for your health. They eliminate free radicals in the body and contain useful phytonutrients and powerful antioxidants that help with inflammation. In addition, purple potatoes can prevent blood clots and they provide useful fiber to help keep your bowels regular and improve digestion. Try mixing together half purple potatoes with half mashed turnip to make turbados. My mom used to make these growing up. Whenever she'd sneak turnip into our family's mashed potatoes, us kids were none the wiser. Sneaky, sneaky, mom. (laughs) These low-carb veggie substitutions will fool any palate once you spice up your low-carb filling with garlic, cumin seeds, coriander, parsley, garam masala, fresh ginger, and cilantro. With the right spice combinations, your fillings will begin to give off that earthy aroma and take on the flavor of the traditional samosa. Trust me, these samosas taste so good you'll find it hard to believe they're low in carbs. I came up with a delicious low-carb samosa recipe that contains only 250 calories, 14 grams of fat, and 8 grams of carbs each. The spicy beef and vegetable filling is wrapped in a dough made from mozzarella cheese and almond flour. This mozzarella dough is lightly scented with cumin and so delicious and versatile. It's truly one of the best doughs to use in low-carb cooking and baking. Check out our blog, www.lowcarbhack.com, and just search samosas. There you'll find the complete recipe for you to try at home. Once you've eaten these homemade samosas, served fresh and crisp from an air fryer, and served with healthy low-carb fillings, you'll never want to touch those soggy, grease-laden, high-calorie store-bought ones again. Let me ask you, have you ever tried samosas? Have you ever attempted to make them at home from scratch? If so, what are your favorite low-carb stuffers to fill your samosas with instead of potato? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Of course, if you have any questions about samosas that I didn't answer in this video, drop us a line below and we'll do our best to answer your question. For more details about samosas, please visit lowcarbhack.com or click the link in the description box for up-to-date information on nutrition, the ketogenic diet, and so many mouth-watering recipes that you won't believe are low-carb. All right, low-carb hackers, that's all for today. Thanks for dropping by, and until next time, I'm out of here like a hot samosa. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. 
share it, and tell your friends about it. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I invite you to come on over to www.lowcarbhack.com, your go-to resource for up-to-date nutrition information, interesting discoveries on the health benefits of foods, and how you can revamp your favorite recipes by making some simple low-carb substitutions. Over on the Low Carb Hack blog, I share my favorite keto-friendly recipes that'll have the pounds just flying off. So go on and click that link in the description.